In this video, we're going to take a look at getting started with Revoice Pro 5 when using selection-based processing in Logic Pro. Let's get started. So let's have a quick listen to the tracks that we're going to be working with. Okay, so all in all, not a bad performance. That being said, I do want to make some adjustments to both the tuning and timing of these lead vocals. So I'm going to highlight the female lead vocal region. Let's right click, we will scroll down to processing and let's choose selection-based processing. Now from here, we have the ability to navigate to the plugins over here and I'm going to click and let's go to audio units. We will navigate to Synchro Arts and we will choose Revoice Pro Link AU and let's choose a mono instance. So this pulls up the Revoice Pro Link plugin. We can start Revoice directly from within this plugin. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to map out the destination track. So by default, Revoice Pro has created a session with two audio tracks. Let's map this first one over to Audio 1. Let's enable Capture and then let's click Apply. Now, the next thing that I want to do is highlight this second vocal. This is the male lead vocal. Map this out to Audio 2. Let's enable Capture and let's click Apply. And now we can show Revoice Pro directly from within the GUI. Let's double click to expand this. We'll zoom out a little bit. So the first thing that I'd like to do is I need to tune this lead vocal track over here. But before we do that, I'm going to just quickly rename these tracks. We'll call this one Lead Vocal. And then we'll navigate to the next track and let's call this Lead Vocal Double. Also, I'm going to expand my track header width just a little bit. So now I'm going to solo this track out and let's choose tracks and auto size track heights. This just helps maximize screen real estate and let's go full screen. Now, in order to make any changes to the tuning or timing, I'm going to right click and let's adjust pitch, timing and level. Now, there's a number of ways in which we can adjust the tuning of a performance in Revoice. One really quick and easy way is simply by clicking the Alt or Option W key. So this will snap everything to 100%. And this is, of course, based on the sunk performance in relation to a chromatic scale in this case. That being said, I do want to take a look at making some manual adjustments. So let's go ahead and undo that. I'm going to highlight across this pitch block and notice that we have these different control points as we hover our mouse cursor over top of them. So in the very bottom right, we have the ability to dial up the tuning from 0 to 100%. And this is, of course, based on the sung performance. In the bottom left, we have the ability to adjust the drift. So you can see as I'm making this adjustment, we can see the pitch traces moving. In the center, if we click, hold, and drag, we have the ability to either decrease that sung note or conversely, if we needed to increase it, we could increase that as well. If we hover our cursor to the top, we have the ability to flatten out the pitch trace. And this, of course, would lead to a more synthetic sound in terms of removing the pitch trace. Conversely, we could do the opposite. We could actually exaggerate or accentuate the pitch trace if that's something that we wanted to do. Last but not least, we can click, hold, and drag to reposition this note. And at any given point in time, we can right click, we can go to reset selected notes, and we can reset all changes to bring ourselves back to our original starting point. That being said, I'm going to take a different approach here. What I'm going to do is use the command A to select everything, and then we will right click, and let's choose the center notes tool. So this will allow us to dial up a percentage in terms of pitch correction. So I'm gonna choose something that roughly applies to everything. This is really nice because you can see it updated in real time. So let's just scroll over, that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to choose the selector tool and let's hover over to the beginning and have a listen to this performance. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You again. Guess I need somebody, body. Okay, this area over here, I heard a little bit of an issue and I'd like to take care of that quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this pitch block and then we are going to right click and let's switch to the cutter tool. I'm gonna place a little slice right over here, and then I'm gonna switch back to the selector tool, and let's double click, and this will snap these to 100%. So now we'll zoom out a little bit, and we will continue listening. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You, again. Okay, so for sake of demonstration, let's say that we are happy with this. I'm going to click this little icon, which will bring us out of full screen mode. Let's come out of solo for a moment. And now I'm going to click the B key, and this brings up the new process panel. 
Now from here, we have the ability to create a match process where we can match the timing, pitch, or level. Now in terms of the audio, we're gonna work with the selected audio. And then presets, I'm gonna to navigate to a recently used preset, which I think will work, which will impart the timing and pitch from this one onto this one right over here. Now the tracks, we're using our lead vocal as the guide and our lead vocal double as the dub track. Let's go ahead and create this new process. Okay, so now that we have created this process, let's have a quick listen. So this is where we were before. And after. Okay, so I'm happy with those results. At this point, I'd like to get those sent back into the Logic Pro timeline. So let's navigate over to Logic. We can now close this plugin and I'm going to give myself just a little bit of room to work with. And now in Revoice Pro, I'm going to right click and select the audio. So we're selecting the main female lead vocal. We're gonna hold down Shift and Option and we're gonna click until we get this little icon. And then I'm simply gonna drag and drop this directly into the Logic Pro timeline. Now we are going to select the output track that was created and the same thing, Shift and Option, click until we get this icon and then drag and drop directly onto the Logic Pro timeline. So now in Logic, we no longer need these two tracks over here. So what I'm going to do is just get rid of them. But now I need to spot these to the proper position so that they play in time with the track. And in order to do this, I'm going to right click and we are going to move to recorded position. So now these tracks will play back at the proper point. Now there's one last thing that I'm hearing in Revoice. What I'd like to do is I'd like to use the lead vocal track that we've created over here. And I would like to create a double on this section on the very end. So let's navigate over. And this section right over here, I'd like to have a stereo female double that's generated or derived from the main track. So we're going to call up the new process panel, but this time instead of a match process, I'm actually going to go with a doubler process. Now, instead of selected audio, I'm just gonna make a highlighted range selection at the very top over here. And this is actually going to be the length of the doubler process that we are going to be using. Now, in terms of presets, I really love using Stereo Vocal Mild. It usually works 98% of the time for me. Our lead vocal is going to be our input and our output will be automatic. So let's create that new process. So now let's listen to all three of those together. Again. Perfect, that's exactly what I'm hearing. So now that we have this doubler process, which has been created, I need to get that sent over into the Logic Pro timeline. Let's do the same thing we have over here. I've already created a stereo track in Logic Pro. Let's hold down Shift and Option. We will click until we see this icon and then drag and drop this directly onto the Logic Pro timeline. Now from here, once again, we're gonna make a highlighted selection across this region, right click, and let's choose Move to Recorded Position. So now that we have everything sent over, let's have a listen to everything in context. So that's using Revoice Pro 5 with selection-based processing in Logic Pro. More in-depth tutorials on these features and more can be found on our website. Thanks for watching.